EFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Friday, the 4th of November. Tiger Financial News Network 10 a.m. market update says that the Dow's of 302 at 32,303. Um, you still got the Dow as the leading index at this particular point. It's no more the Dow Industrials. For a long time, I've been saying just think of it as a Dow 30. It's a fabulous mix of everything that's going on in the economy and certainly what's working right now. So you've got, a, I'll talk about this in my show coming up, the Tiger Technicians Hour, inverted red Chapman Wave Roman candle from a peak D made at 32,071. Uh, three days ago, yesterday was a doji candle. It's really important that we close above that candle and we close above the 200 period moving average, which we're doing <laughs> right now. It's only 30 something minutes into the trading day. The day is young. Anything can still happen. It's already happened. We had a huge gap to the upside. We're looking at the S&P at this particular point. Uh, not doing that well. It made a peak E in the Chapman Wave uh, back three days ago in the 39, uh, just about 3908 area. And it's uh, plummeted to 3,700 in three sessions, giving back four or five days worth of upside action. Now today it's full the gap. And it's struggling to get above the 14 period moving average. We'll talk about that in more detail because what we've got is the Dow leads, the SP is next, the QQQ uh, is fading badly. It made an arch formation, didn't even get to the peak C, went to a uh, peak D, it went to a peak C. Arch over, you know, we're always looking at these patterns cup formation, arch formation. This is the arch formation, and it's not doing very well in the weekly chart. You can see this, is, it was. A very weak rally. It's up to 280 right now at 263. But the IWM, which is the Russell 2000, had a much better chart formation going from the 162 low uh, back uh, on the 16th or so of uh, October, ran all the way three days ago to the 180s, mid 180s. Now it's at 177. It's up a dollar 23. A better pattern than the cues at this particular point, but still kind of weak. And let's just do this real quickly because gold's spiraling higher. Wow, up 39 points, and the dollar is obviously coming down. Yep, it's down 1.36 at 111.63. And crude oil is actually rallying very strongly. A lot to talk about as soon as I get back for my Tiger Technicians Hour. Don't forget my opening call, my daily newsletter. Be back in a moment. Hope you, hope you can stay. Otherwise, I have.